Over the years on this channel, I've spoken a lot about the importance of changing lures when you're trout fishing if the lure that you're using isn't working. In this video, I'm going to give you a perfect example of why you should do that. Now, I've said it a lot over the years. If the lure you're using isn't working, make a change. Most of us people that have done a lot of trout fishing know that trout are very, very uh, particular and very fussy. What might work today might not work tomorrow. What might work in that stream might not work in that stream. Some days they'll climb all over your bladed spinner, but they won't touch your soft plastic. Other days they'll hit the uh, soft plastic, but they won't hit a minnow. And, and it just, it's, there's so many variables, there's so many unknowns. And that's why it's important that when you go trout fishing, you constantly change lures. Now, I'm about to show you a video clip, but before I do, let me give you a bit of a background. Early this year, back in January, Stripe Tiger released two brand new colours to their range, Blue Bottle and Starry Night. They're, they're both black and blue pretty much. One's got the blue filtered through it, the other one's got blue specs. Anyway, I wanted to go and give them a crack and see how they went and do a bit of uh, product testing, I suppose you could say. So I went to one of my favourite little streams. I walked upstream trout fishing. Good I more. had so many hits and strikes and follows and swipes. I landed, I think I landed two. Actually, I think mm. I'm from memory, this is going back in January, I think I lost one at my hand and I landed one as well. And then near the end, I got to a, a waterfall hole and, and this is the, the footage you're about to watch. You'll see in this waterfall hole, I make half a dozen casts and the fish were following it and swiping it and hitting it and jumping and, but they wouldn't hook up on it. That was just on that day. So I changed to a little minnow. This is a Pontoon 21 uh, Crackjack 48. Pontoon 21 Crackjack 48. I'll leave a link to these below in the video description so you can see more about them and you can buy them online and get a 10% discount with my discount code Robbie10. But anyway, in this video, you'll see for the first couple of minutes, I was getting heaps of follows, heaps of swipes, a couple of hookups, but I didn't land any fish. I changed to the pontoon 21, and that's when the magic happened. And you'll see that in this video shortly. The fish just climbed all over it. Now, that's not to say the pontoon 21 crackjack is a better lure than the strike tiger. I'm not gonna tell you that the strike tiger is a better lure than the pontoon 21, because you could go out there today, and it could be the total opposite. Today, the, uh, the trout might climb all over the soft plastic and not the minnow. They might not take either of them, but then you might put a bladed spinner on and, and catch a heap of trout. So folks, enjoy this video. This really highlights it's what I've been saying for years, the importance of changing lures. If the fish are following and not striking or just hastily hitting a lure and not hooking up, sometimes a small change can make the world a difference. I hope you enjoy this video. Oh, wow, how nice is that? This is as far as I can get on this particular stream. Oh, a little fish hit it. Oh, and again, missed him. Tiny little brown of about 10 centimetres. Sure, he's not the only fish in here. Got no. He's hit it three times. Ooh. Something hit that as it was sinking then. What if I go over that side maybe? I want a different fish that hasn't been spooked yet maybe. No, nothing. There's got to be a big one in here than that little brown out of the star. Just missed, surely. Ooh, see that? He never even touched the lure. He swiped at it and jumped clean out of the water, but never even hit the lure. And again, and again, got him, no, he's not a bad fish. That's an interesting sort of a hookup, he's not hitting it very hard. He's barely touching it, he hit it that time. Wow. Ah, oh, shit, wasn't a very good cast. It's like he wants it, but he's just not hitting it hard enough. No show that time, maybe he's uh, a bit wary now. Go right up under the waterfall, see if that helps. Out of an update. No. There's a little one, missed him. Just hitting the tail he was.
another little one. It's still following it. Huh. Right, now I had a few follows and strikes, but no good hookups with the strike tiger nymphs. I've gone to a little pontoon 21 minnow. Different minnow, different colour, different everything. Just to see if they might be willing to come out and have a crack at something a bit different. What they've already seen and they have, look. First cast. They got used to the nymph. I knew the nymph was a trick. Ha <laughs> ha. Look at that. I wonder if this is one of the trout that hit the nymph and didn't hook up. He's, uh, he said, I'm not going to take the nymph, but I'll take the minnow. Sometimes when the fish get a bit wary like that, it's worth just making a really subtle change. Just change your lure. Offer them something different and you may just catch a fish and that's exactly what I just done. Got another one, look! Two in two casts. My hand's still wet. Ha! He got off. Unbelievable. I got used to the nymph and they stopped following it and stopped striking it. So I put a minnow on and hooked two in two casts. Ha ha! Oh, nearly three! It was nearly three! Did you see that? As soon as I made a change. And I'll be used to this minnow shortly. I'll stop following that out now. Ha ha ha! Folks, I've said it a million times on this channel, and now I'm going to say it again. If you're getting follows and swipes and things aren't working, change. Sometimes the fish can get used to it. When I first walked into this hole, I had three or four different trout hit my soft plastic. I hooked up, I almost landed one. I had a few other swipes and misses. Then they went really quiet. Doesn't mean they've gone off the bite, just means they've gotten used to that particular lure and they don't want to follow it anymore. So I changed to a little pontoon 21 minnow and I'll put a link to where you can buy these in the description below and get 10% off. But as soon as I changed to that, the fish suddenly come straight back on the bite and now they've gone off again. I can't help but think now that they're a little bit too stirred up though. They've, uh, I've had probably eight or nine strikes in this hole for two decent hookups. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, why not give me a thumbs up Hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video. <laughs> <sighs>